Why is marijuana considered to be ethically worse than alcohol? Weed was illegal everywhere in the U.S. up until the 90s. And some states still prohibit it. But no states have completely banned alcohol since prohibition might be wrong about that. But you get the idea. They're both drugs which do similar harm. But one is considered to be ethically worse. Propaganda If you compare alcohol and marijuana, alcohol is objectively more dangerous. Alcohol can cause long-term effects such as cirrhosis, liver cancer, and memory loss, and short-term effects such as violence, loss of judgment, and even alcohol poisoning. Marijuana doesn't. There are very few negative side effects to marijuana. And unlike alcohol, you can't really OD on marijuana. In addition, research in recent years has shown that there are some medical properties associated with marijuana. Now, anyone claiming it's some miracle drug that the men in black want to keep away from you is an idiot. But it is true that there are some limited medical applications. Unfortunately, Marijuana has been the victim of one of the US worst propaganda campaigns of the 20th century. Lots of this actually has ties to racism as weed was originally seen as a drug POC used. The US has a major problem with Puritan values being annoying difficult to get rid of in both our laws and society. And this is no exception. The US places a massive emphasis on labor. Those who don't meet a certain quota are deemed immoral. Therefore, Weed, which tends to make people lethargic, has thus been deemed immoral. Fortunately, in recent years many prominent politicians have supported legalization. Even though I don't use weed myself, I firmly believe it should be legal on both the state and federal level. Unfortunately, the US has a major problem with getting old politicians out of office. But that's a discussion for another day. If you're interested, these are some good sources for further reading. Undefined If there's enough THC in whatever you're smoking, it's easy enough to OD and part of a bit of the problem is the amount of THC that's getting modified into the weed, making it much more dangerous. If we were to legalize it, we could tax it and make limits on THC amounts making it as safe as possible and still able to try and fix the things that need money to fix. Important distinction here. You can OD in the sense that you take too much and have an unpleasant experience. You cannot OD like you stop breathing or choke on your own vomit. Like alcohol or heroin. THC is not getting modified as you say. Cannabis is getting hybridized and selected for potent psychoactive strains. Then they are getting extracted so the product is really high THC. Same THC just more of it per dose. This is misinformation. I've OD'd three times on jazz lettuce and died the second time. Nixon was right all along. It's rooted in propaganda and racism. Bias and ideals slash thoughts that our kids are raised with and carry into adulthood that's the main cause of it really. It comes down a lot to that and personal opinions and feelings. They found some negative health impacts as well. But alcohol has just as much if not more. But cigarettes are horrible for you. And they pack so much nicotine in vapes it really puts a pretty cover and nice smell over something crazy bad for you. My point in saying the previous paragraph is that too much of anything and I mean literally anything will kill you and affect your health adversely. So pick your poison I suppose. And try to not knock on others who have theirs. That's the mindset I take at least. The laws were introduced in the 70s to unfairly discriminate against Hispanics. Marijuana is illegal in a lot of countries where Hispanic people are the last thing on their minds though. I should have mentioned I meant the U.S. Exclusively. In the other nations, it's probably no more complicated than drugs bad. So what makes you think that US did it exclusively because of racism? 
Maybe it was the same drug's bad reason there too? Just lack of research in this area was the main reason people thought drugs are bad. Also, most drugs are generally very bad for human health and development. Marijuana is just one of few probable exceptions. In short, like everything in the US, pretty sure this is rooted in some deep racism. Weed was made out to be something that white people should be afraid of because minorities were using it and becoming violent or various other bogus claims that had no scientific basis. I really like that video a lot. Big Tobacco lobbied for it to be made illegal and launched ad campaigns to prevent the use of it by claiming it to be the drug of choice for Mexicans and black people. Before this hemp was still a large export and many people grew it legally. That also meant they smoked it which meant they weren't buying cigarettes. Short answer is money and manipulation. Alcohol is more damaging to the body in every area I can think of and has very limited medicinal properties that result from consumption aside from being an effective anesthetic. Cannabis has been proven to be effective at treating Parkinson's disease and a large host of mental illnesses. It's not physically addictive and it's not toxic which means it can't kill you or damage your body beyond lung damage incurred from the act of smoking. Not the plant itself. Cannabis is proven to affect memory negatively and is speculated to cause dopamine deficiency if abused. It is 100% possible to form a mental addiction to cannabis and due to the societal acceptance of it. Breaking the habit can be almost impossible due to the overbearing presence it has in movies and music and literature. Cannabis is currently being marketed entirely on its medical properties just as cocaine. Laudanum. Opium. Tobacco and alcohol were believed to be wonder drugs back in the day. Druga are great but don't be a fool who makes it their entire personality to be a societally acceptable addict that wears weed branded clothes and does nothing but post videos advertising their addiction because that's what it is. An addiction. Propaganda is the only answer. So many people already drank alcohol and there are so many manufacturers that prohibiting it was very difficult. For many years it was possible to prohibit marijuana so relatively few people used it. I like to believe that major smoking companies funneled mad amounts of money into stifling weed use. Sale. And legality. Think about it. A new smokable. That tastes good has a funky smell, can be easily grown outside, and makes you feel good, would be devastating for the tobacco industry. By whom? Marijuana was not a problem for humanity for thousands of years. The problem with marijuana is pharmaceutical companies bottom line. It just hasn't normalized yet the way that alcohol has. It has only been in recent years where recreational use has become legal and not in all states yet. Marijuana has been a Schedule A. Also called Schedule 1. Drug for as long as I can remember. It's right up there with heroin because it was thought to be highly addictive. However. It is not so much addictive as booze. Alcohol. As cigarettes. Are generally taxed. Marijuana usually not. The three are drugs and the three ruins people's lives but the first and second are socially accepted and marijuana too in a small degree. All should be legal but very. Very restricted. Marijuana has medical uses. But as people usually take it smoking generate long and mid-term issues. Not counting with addition. But the same problems occurs with alcohol and cigarettes. We just look away and say hey this is good for parties or social interaction. But bad for your health overall. Don't take any drug. You will make you. Your body and your environment a favor. It's possible to drink and not get drunk. People drink for reasons other than that. Nobody smokes pot for any other reason. I smoke blunts cause I like the act of smoking. I would get higher and it would be more efficient if I used a glass piece. 
but I like sitting down for like 20 minutes and just smoking. I would say weed is way worse than alcohol. You're filling your lungs with tar. Risk of emphysema is very high and also mental health. Weed smokers are clearly less functional than the normies who drink within acceptable limits and are still functional and doing their office job whilst the weed smoker sitting in a dark basement making weed tube videos and calling it a career. Then probably moving into harder drugs like meth before long. How can you say weed is worse when you can get physically addicted to alcohol but you can't with weed? Alcohol can kill you if you consume too much but you cannot physically consume enough weed to OD and die because of it. And alcohol is the only known drug that actually makes people aggressive. Weed does the opposite. The fact you think all weed smokers are basement dwelling gamers is a huge generalization and ignorant. Some of the most successful people smoke weed. The biggest one I can name is Michael Phelps. An Olympic gold swimmer.